If you want to boost your high yielding soybeans to new levels, it may be nitrogen you're running short on. How to apply nitrogen in soybeans late in the year is the subject of today's Iron Talk. First of all, why would you apply nitrogen? Here are a few givens. Soybean nodules in ideal soil and weather conditions can only produce up to about 70% of the nitrogen needs. Organic matter can release 20 pounds of nitrogen per 1%, and fertilizer sources like MAP and DAP that are often used in soybeans really don't contain that much nitrogen. Let's take this example. 70 bushel soybeans require the uptake of 305 pounds of nitrogen. Nodules can produce up to 210 pounds. If soil had 2% organic matter, that may give you another 40 pounds of nitrogen. If you had applied 100 pounds of MAP to meet most of your phosphorus demand, you'd get about 10 more pounds of nitrogen, but even with all that, you're still 45 pounds short. The ideal time to apply additional nitrogen in soybeans is at the R3 stage and later. Prior to R3, only about 10% of a soybean plant's nitrogen needs have been met. The challenge to applying fertilizer this late in the season, though, is that the crop is big. One solution is a high-clearance sprayer or a high-clearance spreader. On our farm, we've used both over the years. We've applied some controlled-release urea in strip trials through a spreader. We've also looked at some liquid nitrogen with a nitrogen stabilizer in a high-clearance sprayer. Once the nitrogen is spread, you need some rain or irrigation water to get it into the soil and up through the roots to feed that high-protein soybean seed. There is some promising yield data out there with nitrogen application in soybeans, especially if you have high-yielding soybeans and low organic matter soils. We'll see this year if it pays once again. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.